What's going on guys, my name is X30 and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a huge video as I'm going to talk about everything that we know about Call of Duty Modern Warfare so far. Whether it's campaign, multiplayer, co-op, I'm covering it. it. I'm covering it all. I'm covering every single thing that we have found out that is confirmed and everything that has been rumored, everything about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is going to be a huge video. I'm literally just going to have the uh, trailer looping, whether it's in slow motion or real time, doesn't matter. I'm going to have that in the background as we cover all of this. So right now, we're literally just going to jump right into it. Before we do that, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to hit a like button if you want to know more about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, as I will cover more, whether it's leaks or anything else, weapons, doesn't matter. So just leave a like if you want to see more, whether it's the next, uh, the earlier Call of Duty Modern Warfare games, whether it's Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, it doesn't matter, just leave a like if you do want to see more Modern Warfare in general. So first, we're going to be talking about modes. Now right here, we're going to talk about the campaign. So, the official description of the campaign says, The stakes have never been higher as players take on the role of lethal Tier 1 operators in a heart-racing saga that will affect the global balance of power. Developed by the studio that started it all, Infinity War delivers an epic reimagining of the iconic Modern Warfare series from the ground up. In the visceral and dramatic single-player story campaign, Call of Duty Modern Warfare pushes boundaries and breaks rules the only way Modern Warfare can. This game is not a sequel. And it's not a prequel. It's going to be a brand new story with no connection or impact from the original Modern Warfare trilogy. Then we got locations. Locations in the game include different places across Europe and Middle East. The story is based around events that are happening in our world over the last few years. Like talking stuff with ISIS and um, I don't even know. I, I don't really keep up with that. But like stuff with ISIS like in um, the... Uh, um, Stuff going on over there, basically stuff that's going on nowadays that we have dealt with just recently. Tier 1 operators, Arab soldiers, rebel fighters, all confirmed to, part, to be part of the game. Captain Price is returning, but there's a new voice actor for the role. Which, in the trailer, it really does sound just like him, so you're not gonna, it's not, you're not gonna tell the difference that easily. You will get to play the campaign from Arab soldiers' perspective. So not only is it, are you gonna be playing as... Uh, a regular, you know, American soldier, or if you're playing as Captain Price, whatever the case may be, you will also be playing as the Arab soldiers on the enemy side. You will also be able to play as Rebel Fighters as well. Soap might be returning. Other Modern Warfare characters could return alongside a variety of new characters. The game is built on a... Now, this is the big one. The game is built on a brand new engine with new audio and animation support. It also features physically-based material system allowing for the state-of-art photo photogrammetry a new hybrid tile based streaming system, new PBR decal rendering system, world volumetric lighting, 4K HDR, direct X ray tracing, which is on PC, and more as well as a new GPU geometry pipeline, which is big for Call of Duty, which this this uh, engine has been, they've been working on it for five years now and it's finally ready and they're sharing it with the other studios, so if this engine is really going to make Call of Duty way more realistic and better because everything is going to look so much more beautiful than they ever have been in a Call of Duty game, all of the other Call of Duties will have it in the future. Then we got the campaign is very emotional and troubling with missions pushing the boundaries of what's right and wrong. Overview of two missions. So, basically what that means is that we thought, we all thought that the mission No Russian is bad, which is what I'm going to be playing in a separate video. We all thought No Russian from Modern Warfare 2, which is the campaign mission, we thought that was bad. If you don't know what No Russian is, it's basically where you are going undercover on the enemy side, and you have to go through an airport and mow down a lot of innocent civilians with a light machine gun. And it is brutal. And everyone thought that that was horrible. Uh, the game was banned, or the mission, I think, was banned in multiple countries because of it. And so, so and such. And we thought that was bad. They are taking it to a whole new level in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. As everything is going to be brutal. Like, for example, in the trailer, you can see this this rebel uh, soldier go up on top of a car and shoot straight through the win windshield, mowing down two innocent civilians. You can even hear them screaming. It is brutal. So Infinity Ward did not want... Call of Duty Modern Warfare to seem like a full, like, game with three different game modes. They want it to be, like, one whole unified experience. So that means that progression in campaign mode will transfer between co-op and multiplayer. Now, we're not sure exactly what that means, whether it's 
gun customization, gun attachments, if you can earn attachments through the campaign and co-op and have that transport over to multiplayer, or if there's a leveling system, well, it's, it just says progression, so that could also be the leveling system, so what you could do is instead of, if you're getting tired of multiplayer with, whether if they have new tubes or whatever the case may be, you can take a break, go to campaign, and you'll still be leveling up so that you'll have more guns and attachments later in multiplayer. That seems pretty cool. So that's all for the campaign uh, end of things. Now we're moving on to multiplayer. So the official description of multiplayer, it says, Experience the ultimate online playground with classic multiplayer. So then we have uh, a big announcement. Crossplay between PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC has been confirmed. Uh, they haven't announced exactly how that's going to work, whether it's just, you know, you hop into a game and you're playing with PS4 players and PC players all at the same time. We're not sure how that's going to be, but we're, I'm sure we'll hear more about that later. Then we have no traditional season pass. The post-launch maps are going to be free. So that means that all the DLCs are going to be free. There's going to be no $50 season pass and everything. They're releasing all extra in-game content post-launch all for free. Then the operators. Operators are in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They have no special abilities. Each operator has their own back backstory, cosmetic, voice lines, and more. Certain editions of Modern Warfare include bonus operator packs. Online will support up to 20 players, so that could be an easy 10 versus 10 multiplayer, like, team deathmatch game. Progression in multiplayer mode will transfer between co-op and campaign, of course. More details okay, to be revealed closer to launch. So we will figure out more, of course, especially at E3. We're going to see a lot at E3. So then, that's the end of the multiplayer. That we have seen so much about campaign and not really that much about multiplayer and co-op, but we did get a little bit about multiplayer and co-op. So that was multiplayer. Then we're going to be going, going on to co-op. The official description for co-op is squad up and play cooperatively in a collection of elite operations accessible to all skill levels. There is no zombies mode. The co-op mode will tie into the single player story, just like Spec Ops in... Uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, the Spec Ops missions uh, took place in locations that were in the campaign, just as well as multiplayer maps were from the campaign as well. Progression in co-op mode will transfer to multiplayer and cam campaign mode, and then more details to be revealed closer to launch. So then that's it for co-op. We really didn't get that much on there, but it seems like it's going to be a lot like Spec Ops from what we've seen so far. So I also wanted to go over the special editions for Call of Duty that are going to be available, and most of them are already available for pre-order right now. So first, we're going to start off with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Digital Editions. So we have the Standard Edition, which is $59.99. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Base Game, which is of course a digital copy, is going to come with a custom in-game tactical knife and one prestige token to use in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, included in pre-orders only. Then we have the Operator Edition, which is $79.99. It's going to come with the original base game, uh, digital copy only. Custom in-game tactical knife, all gillied up operator pack, the crew expendable operator pack, the war pig operator pack, and one prestige token to use in Black Ops 4. Then we have the most expensive edition, which is the Enhanced Edition, which is $99.99. So it's basically $100. Bucks. It will come with the base game, digital copy. It'll come with an in-game tactical knife, all gillied up operator pack, crew expendable operator pack, war pig operator pack, 3,000 COD points, so that's confirmed that COD points are going to be in the game, of course, and one prestige I can use in Black Ops 4. So those are all the digital stuff. Now this is where it gets pretty cool on the physical edition side of things, because the physical edition stuff is where you can get all the nice little cool bonuses. So the standard edition for the physical one is 60 bucks, which is just going to have the disc. So here's the thing. If you are going to get Call of Duty Modern Warfare, if you're going to pre-order it, don't pre-order disc. It's way more worth it um, pre-ordering the digital version because on the disc, you're on the disc version, the physical copy, you're just getting the game. But on the, or for sixty bucks, the standard edition, you're just getting the game. But for the standard edition, which is still sixty bucks, for the digital side, you get the game, a tactical knife or a custom in-game tactical knife, and a prestige token for Black Ops Four. It's way worth just getting it for. Um, digital, if you wanted to get that tactical knife, which I feel like is a little more worth it. Then, we have something that, which is a brand new, completely, totally different edition, which is the one I want to get, uh, which is a physical edition, so it's called the Precision Edition, which is available in limited quantities and regions. It's $99.99. Comes with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare base game, which is, of course, a disc, a custom in-game tactical knife, all gillied up operator pack, 
Crew Expendable Operator Pack, War Pig Operator Pack, Code Calling Card, USA only, which is basically a calling card for the um, Call of Duty Endowment. Uh, then it comes with, of course, a steel book for the, for the um, which is basically the case for the disc itself. Then it comes also with a Control Freak Performance Thumbstick, so some nice Call of Duty, and it is Modern Warfare themed. It's Modern Warfare branded Control Freak thumb, um, thumb Grips. Then it also comes with a Control Freak controlled skin. Now, I'm not sure if that's Modern Warfare branded, but I do know that the thumbstick is, so whether it's going to have the Modern Warfare logo on it or whatever the case may be. So that is literally everything that we know on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This was a long video, I understand that. I just wanted to get all this out so that everyone knew everything that has been revealed or announced within the past 24 hours. And that's literally it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanted to see more Modern Warfare in general, be sure to hit that like button, and I will see you guys later.